meet Maddie and Adam, two young go-getters forging an exciting career path in a world-leading forest industry that's going gangbusters. And check out some of the great machinery they're working with. It's world-class and brimming with technology, science and innovation. I'm a skitter operator, um, so what I do is I come in, I do a pre-start on my machine um, and then virtually throughout the shift we um, pull wood to the chipper and um, we also do certain maintenance like, um, you know, maintenance on the machine and help with maintenance on the chipper as well. I'm an infield supervisor for uh, roughly six operations, chippering operations, and roughly about 40 to 45 staff at the moment. Maddie and Adam are helping shape the future of a modern, dynamic and progressive forest industry, making their mark in the Great South Coast region with tremendous career opportunities and job pathways. The forestry industry is actually quite large. Um, we personally manage about 65,500 hectares of blue gum plantation, so there's a lot of opportunity. Yeah, it would be good to see some new young people coming through. Uh, what have you been using this chipper for? Huh? Alright, so we've just got to here at the moment, just so just in case our other chipper goes down. Yep. Vocationally based traineeships, apprenticeships and job opportunities are possible right here in the thriving Great South Coast region, with fantastic employers looking for talented, energetic and enthusiastic people like you. So I did a Cert 3 in Agriculture um, as I come from a dairy farming background and that's where I virtually knew I wanted to take a step into this industry. I'm actually a chef by trade, fresh out of high school and um, became a chef. Nine years in hospitality, I needed a change. When you're young it's stomping around the forestry uh, and Tonka toys, so that was a real real uh, attraction. So I started with a company as a skid operator for about two years and then chipper operator and then from there I've found myself in the position I am today. Ash was just saying that there could be a possibility that the bills aren't coming inside now. Alright, so that should be about it. Right. Have a good night. When I left school I did a farm traineeship, so I was going to be a farmer. Um, unfortunately, hit by the drought. Uh, I changed into transport um, and logistics. I uh, put my hat in the ring for a forestry job here and, and managed to get it. So there, there's definitely opportunities out there. You don't necessarily have to be a traditional university degree forester. So talk to your careers advisors, teachers or parents and consider the possibilities of earning while you learn. See how far you can go today. I was green as green, had no experience, never driven big machines. Um, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to give it a go. And the training and the, um, the options that we have, yeah, you don't need any experience at all. It's good to see girls in this industry. Us girls go, yeah, just as hard as the guys do in the end, and it's, it's great, it's good fun. Consider joining an industry that's going places, that you can help shape and influence as it shapes, builds, and influences you. Absolutely love, love the job, love being outdoors. Um, the industry itself is, is growing and growing very quickly. Um, the innovation of the machines and stuff like that is, um, it doesn't stop. I feel this is a strong career for myself. There's a lot of pathways, um, you know, if ever I wanted to step out of a machine, there's so many pathways within the industry you can go. I would definitely say have a go. Stay locally, have a really good look at forestry. Come and talk to us, do work experience here and just see what we're all about. Don't think for a career that you need to go to university. There's a lot out there if you go out and look for it. Authorised by the Office of the Victorian Skills Commissioner, Level 1, 21 de Grave Street, Melbourne. Spoken by P. Jamison.